This is question number five and it's a calculator question. We're told Bob, Bill and Ben are triplets. They decide to paint their bedroom in the school holidays. The triplets can all paint at the same speed. Bob says he can paint the room in four and a half hours. In part A for two marks, the question says how many minutes will it take to paint the room if all three triplets work together? Bob says he can paint this in four and a half hours, so it'll take one third of that time if all three triplets work together. So write in part A, we will have 4.5 hours or four and a half hours divided by three. That's going to give me 1.5 hours. We need to give our answer in minutes and we can write 1.5 hours is equal to 90 minutes. A few different ways you can do this question. Either way round, we'll have one mark for our answer of 90 minutes and one mark for the workings. We're now told the total area of the wall space that needs painting is 96 square metres. The paint the triplets buy costs £3.60 per tin and each tin covers 9 metres squared. In part B for three marks, we're asked to calculate the total cost of painting the bedroom, ignoring any waste. So splitting my question up, part A here, part B here. So what I'm going to write then is 96, that is the total wall space, divided by 9. So let's go ahead and work this out. So 96, we've got 96 divided by 9, and that's going to give me now 10.666 and so on and so forth. So if we just write this out, 10.666 dot dot dot, therefore, and using the therefore symbol, which you don't need to do, we would need 11 tins. So we can say now the triplets, just writing this down, triplets need 11 tins. They can't go out and buy 10.66 as tins of paint are only going to be sold in discrete values. It's either 10 or 11. So we need 11 of these. So we're now going to do 11 times by the £3.60. You can do this if you like in your head or you can simply put it through the calculator. Remember, on calculator questions, you still need to show workings, but it's perfectly fine now if you want to put in 11 times by 3.60. That gives us £39.60. So we've got now £39.60. And 60 pence. So we've shown now that we needed 11 tins. So the total cost now is £39.60. We would get one mark for showing this, we would have one mark for stating they need 11, and then one mark for the calculation. We're now told the triplets friend Fred says he can get the job done in three hours. Fred offers to paint the room for £14 now, which includes the cost of the paint he will use. The triplets want to spend as little money as possible. In part C, it says, should they hire Fred or do them the job themselves? You must explain your answer clearly, showing your workings. OK, so let's now write here C. What we'll have is Fred. So we can see now that Fred is going to do this in three hours. We can say that three times by the £14 is going to be equal to £42. If the triplets do it, we can see now that we have a total of £39.60. This value is cheaper. We can say now that 42 is greater than £39.60. Therefore, and I'm going to write therefore, we don't have to, the triplets, so writing this down, the triplets should do the job themselves. Should do the job themselves. So just jotting it down, nice and straightforward. We've worked out the calculation that Fred can get the job done in three hours. Three times by 14 is 42. And we're now uh, comparing that, if you like, versus the £39.60. So three marks in the final part of the question to show that the triplets should do the job themselves. We'd have one mark for comparing and showing now that £42 is greater than £39.60 and then one mark for the concluding statement. With all of these questions, don't just do the maths, have a concluding statement 
as that will often be worth one mark. We can see the question says, should they hire Fred or do the job themselves? It's not just asking for the maths, the triplets should do the job themselves. As £42 is greater than what they would have to pay if they did it themselves.